Whether you need a stronger punch because you're working as a bouncer at the Kick and Stab Bar in West, by God, Virginia, you just want to get better on the field of play or looking to win the local CrossFit contest. The clean and a good one can help you get there. I went to the most knowledgeable person I know on Olympic lifts, Noah Bryant. He's gonna walk us how to do this. For the Olympic lifts, we use a hook grip. You're gonna wrap your thumb around the bar and then the rest of your fingers around your thumb. Is this the same hook grip that like some powerlifters are doing now that are hitting big deadlifts or is this something different? It's exactly the same hook grip. It does take some getting used to. It's, it might hurt a little bit at first, but you'll get used to it pretty quick. So we've talked before um, when I have a video about deadlift foot placement. What about on the clean? The easiest way to find out where your foot placement is, is to pretend like you're gonna do a vertical jump. So take one step forward and wherever your feet land, two feet land, that's where you're gonna clean from. With, with your arm placement, do you, do you want it out um, pretty wide and far away from you, like a snatch, or do you want it like, you know, inside like a single deadlift or right on your sides, or wh what's the 411 here, homeboy? It, uh, it's gonna just differ between athlete to athlete, but most people are gonna be just right outside their shoulders, right outside shoulder width, uh, some a little bit wider, usually not much closer, because it's kind of hard to catch it like that, but right, right outside of shoulder width is usually the best place. The phases of the clean look more numerous than the selection of whiskey at an Irish pub. So I'm like a little bit, how many, so how many phases are there to this? There's really four. There's, there, there's a first pull, which is from the ground to just above the knee. A transition, which is from just above the knee to right below your hip. Second pull is the most explosive part. It's from, it's from your hip. It's when you're exploding up the triple extension all the way up. And then the last part is the catch. And it's the, easy, the easiest way to learn it is to break it down into parts and start working on each part rather than just jumping right in and, and starting to clean right away. The bar, you're gonna wanna, wanna line up with the bar right over your midfoot and your shins up against the bar. And during the first pull, you wanna keep your back angle constant. So whatever your back angle is while you're at the bottom, you wanna keep that constant and think about pushing back the knees so the bar just comes straight up. So after the first pull, there's a transition between the first pull and the second pull, and it's pretty self-explanatory. You're just getting yourself in position to explode when you're in the second pull. The things to remember during this phase are to keep your back straight, and you want your chest to be slightly over the bar. Not bent way over, but not back here either. You want it to be just slightly over the bar. All right, the second pull is the most ballistic and explosive part. It's the part that's gonna carry over into the football field or the bar at the kick and stab bar wherever you wherever you need the strength um, once the bar gets a, right to your hip you want to extend your hips knees and ankles as hard as you can straight up in the air almost like you're jumping as the bar continues to rise the last part after that you've got the triple extension is to shrug your shoulders up here and the bar is going to keep moving up you're not really pulling it as much as it's going to float up and you want to, from there, you want your elbows to go up and out rather than back or anything like that. So you want to up and out like a scarecrow. During the second pull, you want the bar to be as close as possible to your body. You don't want it out here because that's going to be real hard. When you go to catch it, you're going to be pulled forward. So you want to keep it straight up as close as your body as you can. Um, the, next, the next phase is the catch. In the catch phase, the bar is going to continue to rise up and up, and then once you once you've hit full extension all the way up, you're gonna you're gonna actually pull yourself under the bar. You're not gonna. A lot of people when they first start jump under the bar, and the bar comes slamming down on them. You want to stay connected to the bar and pull yourself under and rotate your elbows forward and catch it in that position right there. Some of the common mistakes they they tend to happen in the catch. Uh, one of them is. When, your people, when people are catching, rather than bending their legs to catch them a little bit, they spread their legs way open. So they're in, their legs are way, way out here when they're catching the bar. And that's not how we want to be, it's not a safe position. And then the other one I see a lot too is forcing themselves to go catch it in a deep squat position when the weight's not that heavy. This, I mean, the, you catch it lower and lower as the weight gets heavier and heavier and you have to catch it lower, but there's no point in artificially creating that 
that deep squat position if you don't need it. Another common mistake is uh, just being too uh, aggressive with the upper body and the cleans. The upper bodies are almost like, your arms are almost like ropes and they're just holding on to the bar. A lot of times I see people pulling real hard with their upper body and that usually brings the bar out here, out away from you so it's hard to catch. So you want your arms to be straight for as long as possible and then after the shrug they start to rise up like that. Once again, this is Noah Bryant breaking down the power clean for the everyday lifter. Also, if you're bouncing down Del Rio and you start knocking, you know, I don't know, the head, the head El Jefe comes in for a shakedown, boom, knock him out, files a lawsuit against you. You're dwarf tossing, they go over the, whatever the device is to catch him. I don't want no lawsuits. I want to keep this, you know, this, you got to use this power wisely.